June is Migraine Month, so today I'd like to share with you how migraines work. I've had chronic daily headaches since I was 8 years old, and chronic migraines since I was 10. Today I'm going to talk about some of the symptoms, causes, and treatments of migraines. There is no one confirmed theory to explain how a migraine works, but there are some ideas that scientists have. Previously, scientists thought that the dilation and constriction of the blood vessels was responsible for the migraine aura and the migraine pain. However, new theories suggest that chemicals released when blood vessels dilate cause the pain, rather than the dilation of themselves. Migraines are also considered a hereditary condition, meaning that defects in the brain can be passed down from parents to cause children to be more prone to headaches. The symptoms of a migraine differ from person to person, but overall there are four main stages of a migraine. These are the prodrome, aura, attack, and postrome. The prodrome state can occur one to two days before the migraine attack starts. So this is before the pain of the migraine is felt, and symptoms of the stage include constipation, mood changes, food cravings, neck stiffness, increased thirst and urination, as well as frequent yawning. The aura state of a migraine comes next, and this is typically an hour before the attack begins. Symptoms of the aura can include visual bright spots or lines on the vision, vision loss, difficulty speaking, hearing noises or music, and in the case of hemiplegic migraines, which is the kind of migraine I have, you can get limb weakness, pins and needles sensations in the arms and legs, as well as weakness or numbness in one side of the body or face. The attack stage is the stage where migraine pain is experienced, and it typically lasts between 4 to 72 hours. In this stage, throbbing or pulsing pain is experienced on one side of the head, as well as a sensitivity to light, sound, smells, and touch can occur. Nausea and vomiting are also symptoms, as well as blurred vision and lightheadedness, sometimes leading to fainting. The final stage of the migraine occurs after the migraine pain is over. It can include feelings of confusion, moodiness, dizziness, weakness, or sensitivity to light and sound. Treatments for migraines differ from person to person, so it's really important to see what works best for you personally. Examples of treatments include preventative medication, pain relievers, acupuncture, diet, exercise, sleep, meditation, herbal supplements, Botox, and many more different treatment options. I hope you now know a little bit more about migraines. If you have any questions about anything I've talked about in this video, or about my personal migraine experience, leave a comment below, and I'll be sure to respond. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. On my Instagram, I share many videos, photos, and posts that you wouldn't otherwise see, so be sure to check them out at stem underscore files.